Pro. A shout out to them. Uh, we also got Felix, like you mentioned, uh, Base Gust, Lil Slash, Dupster, Curb Star. If I go over to, uh, oh yeah, this is just one page for today. Uh, Karoma, showing quite the variety of characters. Yeah, Seabass as well. Very talented snake. But look at this. We already don't have to waste any time getting into our round one. It's going to be Lil Slash versus Dark Synchron for winners round one. So let's go ahead and get straight into that. Wario versus Captain Falcon. Now look, I ain't got a tongue tie, but I'm I'm gonna say oh well never mind I'm gonna say uh, Synchron now never mind because right. <laughs> production's moving that stuff around. But look, this is a battle of some of the jugglers and uh, some of the most explosive characters in the game. Uh, if you ask me, they can hit you and take you up to a, a really specific percent and then blow you up at like seventy. Right. Yeah, no, that that's definitely the truth there. Uh, I know that like some uh, a lot of war enemies actually fell off after like. But in my opinion, it was a little bit of a small nerf for the character, but nonetheless, we still got Little Slash rocking it. Maybe here to prove uh, exactly my point that this character is still very capable in the comp scene. Uh, already going for a forward to a two frame like you saw there. Unable to land it. Oh. Instead, met with a dash attack from Dark Synchro. And don't forget, that move can take stocks. I don't think it was always able to, but I know as of ultimate. Uh, I will say, that is the ultimate I think that was... I think that was uh, Lil Slash holding in on that DI because they were moving towards uh, Synchron with the Nair um, as a dash attack hit. So I think they were holding in. That's why that killed so early. Uh, ordinarily, I'd say that wouldn't be killing consistently until like 170, 180. It does kill, but not really high. As opposed to that dash attack that can kill you from center at like 140. Oh yeah, that one definitely is going to do it for that first lock on Dark. But check it out, Dark already making up that groundwork. Already bringing it from a tie game exactly to a stock lead completely. So good call out there from Dark is going to land him in a very comfortable lead. We're going to have to see what uh, Lil Slash is planning to try and bring this one back. Now, I didn't just see that up smash with Captain Falcon go 32%. I didn't just see that, Taco. He didn't. There's no way. That did so much damage so quickly. Uh, Lil Slash has an opportunity to be in this thing still. We do see the Waft coming out in just a second. He's not glowing uh, brown yet, but there he is. Oof. Right at the two minute mark. And um, I'm just saying, if he takes the stock very early, uh, we could be seeing a, uh, a nice waft combo to death. It's a little bit nerfed now, but it very still awesome. is consistent if you know how to hit it. Yeah, you can tell a little slash the way he's poising himself, uh, not really rushing in as much as he was before, going for a couple of grab setups to optimize, but instead opting for the back air follow up to get some stage control. Tries to punish with that up to you can guarantee that was going to lead him to the waft to hit Atlantic. I'm just saying, Taco. I'm just saying, if they can hold in this thing and not allow Dark Synchron to get a strong hit, uh, they could win, but no, it's going to be the uh, dash attack again. A little bit of rage to help it along. That's going to be killing uh, pretty early, uh, but around 160 on a heavy character in Wario. So, hey, <laughs> gets up to Synchron for uh, clutching that one out without a waft coming out. That's cool. Thank you, production. <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh... Yeah, man. I... So, I, I made some, uh, some mixed lemonade, uh, for my water. And, uh, some of the... Some of the powder was still on the cap and it went right up my nose. Oh, oh no. That hate to see you. Exactly. That girl came here. Hey, man. Like I might have some brain damage, 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 but we're gonna keep commentating nonetheless. <laughs> Well, hey, none, 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 we got ourselves a pretty good start here from Lil Sack, already going for two baggers in a row to close out the first stock of the second game in a zero to death. What are your thoughts on that? Who said this character ain't viable? I want to have a conversation with you. Now, look. It's, it's been Lutini, all over Twitter. Lutini himself was, like, dropping the character, but he didn't. He didn't, and he plays very well at the last big tournament in, in France. So I'm just saying, best warrior in the world still thinks he's viable. Uh, you know, Lil Slash making him look very viable too. Only sustaining 32% and a little bit of a chomp to kill that off. Right. And uh, Dark Synchron is uh, reeling from this pressure right now. Yeah, absolutely reeling from it. And you know, it's it's kind of interesting too because, I mean, like it was all over Twitter and all that. And you know, like in, in the whole contrast of what I was seeing, I was kind of surprised to see that so many people thought that. Especially when we were seeing uh, Lil Slash holding his own so well here. Still able to recover back onto the stage. You see that a Dark Sneaker kind of air dodge is a little bit of a defensive maneuver there. Good catch though with the command grab up the Lil Slash. Unfortunately, not ready to uh, DI exactly where he needed to be to retain that stock. No, I, I really like the um, 
the Falcon Dive, as it's called. It's not the Falcon Kiss, unfortunately, which is what I've been right. calling it for years. Um, but the Falcon Dive is, is very... It, it snaps to opponents now, especially after this uh, recent buff that Falcon got on it. It's, it's way more consistent at hitting. And if you're not ready to die it, you might as well kiss your stock goodbye. Yeah, but, oh my god, good. Dark. Making, looking like a Krupp combo there. Sheesh, yeah, let me check that out. But it doesn't matter, Lil Slash could take the stock anyway, but Dark took this from a very, very commanding lead for Lil Slash into nearly tying this thing up. And yeah, that's actually kind of impressive when you think about it. Already taking the lead on this year at 122 still, but you know, Dark Synchrom at that percent has plenty of KO options available to him. That Nair almost connecting. And there's going to be the up B, unfortunately going to be sending to the wrong blast zone, but more than ready to respond on that landing off with that down tilt to bring it right back to a time once again. I'm just, again, that waft is a flash and it is ready to, to be launched and Dark just needs to keep Lil Slash in the combo. Oh, and he whips it after those nerfs. It's way, that, that the window on up tilt specifically is way tighter than it used to be. Uh, and you know, normally you'd be looking for an up air, or yeah, a couple up air streaks, a couple of those flaps. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the up tilt definitely isn't as consistent as it used to be. Yeah, it's definitely going to be having a harder time making this mark here, but nonetheless, we still have Dark Synchro landing two up airs in a row, following up on that landing option with an up, he almost landing the up smash, but uh, you can see that Little Such is far above that option there, still going to be retaining some neutral here, but only coming up with the back throw. And you can see that Dark Synchro time and time again is just uh, gaining control of these neutral situations, even with that forward tilt almost leading it to back here, Little Such narrowly avoiding that to keep uh, what could potentially be the last stock of his winner's run here. Now, I'm just saying, unless we get a really strong hit from uh, Little Slash, I think a stray hit from uh, Dark Synchron is a little bit more likely to take this game, and he can kind of pseudo combo into some stuff in there, but there's the back air. A little bit of rage, and a great jump call out from Lil Slash. We're going to a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Lil Slash holds his lead towards the very end and is able to uh, pull out a victory here. It's one apiece. Yeah, there you go. One apiece here. Going, getting ready to get into game three. Still taking it back to the Pokemon Stadium. This time switching up with a tunes, if only a little bit. So we're going to see if maybe that gives our uh, Captain Falcon player here maybe the power boost that he needs. But at the same time, I mean, th this match is definitely heat up. You can tell that there's been some difference in Low Slash's approach to the neutral. Or, to where even though it does look like he's losing quite a bit of exchanges, he still has it down to the long run to where he's able to pull out that last game. Yeah, and I'd just like to see one of these wafts uh, connect, and we might be seeing uh, Lil Slash taking a huge advantage of that happens, because he's had two, he's used one, neither of hit. Yeah, neither of yet to hit, so we'll see if maybe a uh, third time to charm. Yeah, and uh, production, there we go, thank you mate. Um, we, got the, we got the full overlay figured out, and... Right now, we see Lil Slash uh, at a decent lead, but all it takes is a couple hits from Dark Seacron to possibly take the stock away or to possibly get back in this thing uh, just in its own. Right, yeah. Already, we got some pretty hyper sense here. You can see Dark Seacron doing as he always has, pressuring on those platforms with the up smash, landing a down air, trying to follow up with the back air, but you can see that Lil Slash is still going to be able to retain the neutral, only to be met with that command grab once again. It seems like that up to the shield has been quite the issue. Go a little slash. What do you think that we trying to do differently in order to avoid that next time? Uh, again, you need to pick your spots. It's very important when you're playing uh, big bodies like either of these characters are. Um, I mean, they're not big bodies. They're not, you know, heavies, but they are right. still quite sizable. Um, and, and they both can get hit rather easily if you're not ready. Just like with a wake up from the ledge, Falcon Oof, kick, yeah, look at that. but a back air from Lil Slash will be answered right away. Two stocks apiece. But that clock is whittling down, and that you know what that means. Waft time is coming up very soon. That's right, the waft is imminent here as the neutral continues on this second stock. Still low percent for the both of them here. You can see Dark Sinker making pretty great strides to bring it into his favor, pressuring a lot with these down airs. At the same time, applying pressure onto the shield and side B as well, so he's got a pretty solid plan down pat. You can see that Lil Slash is already starting to break through the tracks a little bit. Dark gonna be responding with the jab string to put him off stage and at the ledge. He's looking for a get-up option. Okay, the downer is gonna miss. I, I think I think Dark Synchron thought they'd be back on stage, but there's a really nice command grab to hold out, uh, catch the get the get-up option from Dark. And oh my God, that was perfect trajectory for the uh, up tilt waft. But uh, I think Lil Slash was like, okay, I want to hold this one until I, until I know it can hit. Off to the back air. Dark's gonna air dodge around it. 
He's playing very well. Both these guys are, are taking turns, putting each other at the ledge. Uh, and, and situations like this get really tense because in just one second, you can see the turn of the tide in this match. Yeah, here it comes already. Landing the downer, trying to follow up with an up air as well for some additional damage. Unable to do so. The waft is here. As Little Slash finds himself off stage, trying to get an edge guard, but Dark is still going to be able to recover slightly before he does. Let's see what he does for the edge guard option. Still going to get beat up by that get up attack as he was going for the neutral B, but there it is! Healing him a little bit in the process, getting some great knockback, but just not good enough to take this second stock just yet. Almost full rage for Dark. Is full rage for Little Slash. One good hit, and one of these stocks is going to be missing in just a second. There's the up air from Dark to answer. And Dark is at 153%. Uh, if one big hit will be killing, that up tilt's not enough to do it. Up air probably would have been enough to oh. do it, but a good air dodge to survive. Yeah, did you see? Did you catch that? You actually landed the up tilt, but only to be met with those uh, super armor frames from the side beat. So yeah, that definitely would have been a great follow-up uh, to go for at that moment. But instead, we're still going to be able to close out the stock. But look at this, almost immediately responding with an excellent up air stream, straight into a down air and almost up a smash to finish it off potentially. The little slash still going to be able to avoid that and keep himself in the game at 112% though. Quite the deficit to make up for right now. Yeah, Dark, if they get a nice read, they'll be able to take the stock soon. But I will say Lil Slash has been doing a decent job of surviving for quite a long time. Uh, watch out for the bike, okay. Oh, oh! And he has to extension off the bike, but it's not going to kill. It sends the wrong direction. Dark Synchron thanking his lucky star for that one. And yeah, it's going to be the uh, nipple spike down air to take that stock and the game. It's up to both players, but it is going to be Dark pulling out ahead right at the very end.